Okay, and these are the mix-up cubes by Whit Eden and Oscar van Deventer. Um, this is the 3x3 version, the only one that's actually credited to Oscar. However, obviously the others are kind of based off his original idea. So this is the 3x3 version. It turns much like a regular 3x3 cube. Um, this is no speed cube. You're not going to be able to solve this as you would a speed cube. Um, that's because of the complex interior mechanism, which allows things like this. So you can turn the centre layer 45 degrees and make other turns like that. So basically what you're doing is mixing the centre pieces, what would be the centre pieces on a regular 3x3 cube, and you're swapping them with the edge pieces, which makes for a much more challenging solve than a standard 3x3. Now there's three other versions as well. You've got the um, 3x3x4, the 4x4x3, and the 4x4x4. <coughs> the 3x3x4 version works much the same way. Um, like I said you can split the centre row in half as well and turn separately. But other, after that it turns much the same way as you see with the 45 degree turn of the centre layer. The difference is, because if you can see you've kind of got a split pieces here but a piece here that's not split, that bandages that layer, so the bandaging um, prevents you from doing certain moves at times, and because of that, that adds an extra level of challenge to this particular version. The 4x4x3 is much the same, except its centre pieces on the white and yellow faces are split into four pieces, um, and you've got more of these split edges, but you do still get the bandaging occurring because you can see that these um, edges are take up the width of two of these pieces sort of thing so if you get them in a situation such as that you can no longer turn those pieces because of the bandaging as I said remember this is no speed cube it can take a little yeah do have to have things quite well aligned before they will turn um, as with the others of course this can do those th uh, 45 degree turns and then further turns after that and finally the 4x4 version looks much like a 4x4 cube and turns very much the same way as well but again you can do those 45 degree turns you don't have to turn both centre layers you can just turn one centre layer and make turns on other faces so again very challenging those become bandaged yet again because they've got a double width piece there compared to those pieces so challenging and extremely fun series of puzzles As with a lot of puzzles, they improve with a little bit of breaking in, so a few solves after you've got them, they will, the turning quality will improve, and obviously a little bit of lubrication never hurts. So those are the um, series of Oscar and Whitteden mix-up cubes. <laughs>